It's time for a quick time update of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners meeting, the first one of the year on January 3rd, 2017. Our county manager, Larry Werner, is here. I'm Lloyd Higuera. And uh, the first action taken by commissioners for the new year was to elect a chairman and a vice chairman. Right. Uh, first order of business with the new board. Uh, Commissioner Barry Penzel was elected as the county commissioner chair, and Commissioner Steve Thaler was elected as vice chair. Okay, so you have your leadership for 2017. Off and running. Okay, also uh, at that meeting, uh, commissioners did approve taking legal action in district court to collect property and room taxes owed to the county. Uh, that was from the uh, Historian Inn in Gardnerville. Right, the Historian Inn has uh, basically owed the county some back uh, uh, room tax monies and some property tax for the last few years and um, the county tried to work with them to, to, to come up with a payment schedule to get caught up and it just hasn't happened and the board has finally said enough's enough so they've requested that the clerk treasurer and the district attorney get together and take action to collect the back taxes. So. Yeah, you hate to see one of our local businesses be in that position, but you got to take action. You do, you do, yeah, because everybody else that does pay it, you know, it's just an equity situation, and we just weren't seeing the, the action that needed to happen on the part of the property owner. Okay, well, uh, aside from the meeting, there was some other activity here right. in the county. Uh, we had a recent flooding incident. I wonder if you give us a quick update on that. Yeah, very quickly, as everybody has been aware of this, watched the news and lived around here, that the, the concerns were raised by the weather service that we were going to get a, a, a warm thermal storm that would come in over the weekend on top of snowpack up at the, uh, on the Sierras, and those would impact the rivers and streams flowing through, through the valley. And uh, so the decision was made to, to activate the emergency operations center to get things pre-placed, to get equipment out, to really start looking and see to make sure that as the river rises that we can do what we can to try to prevent any any excess damage. Uh, it uh, it got there were places that were flooded, roads were closed in a couple spots. Uh, it pretty but did pretty well did match the 2005 flood, uh, but we didn't see any major problems or real real major issues that occurred over the uh, last couple of nights. It appears now that the uh, the storm events appear to be moving northward based on the latest um, National Weather Service reports. And we may not see quite the same issues that we anticipated, but we're still in operational mode just to make sure we get through the next few days uh, and be able to handle any kind of storm events that occur. And there was a disaster declaration issued during that in both Douglas County and the state. Right. The, uh, it turns out, I think, overall, there were 10 counties that issued emergency declarations, and the, uh, the different tribes throughout the area uh, also did, and asked to, to give access to state and federal um, disaster recovery monies if, if in fact, we um, exceed a certain dollar amount. So okay. we wanted to make sure we did that ahead of time, so we, if there were major problems, major costs, that we had you know, an ability to try to recover some of those. So this is something that uh, the county is still tracking? Yes, yes, we do that now. Uh, once we started that, we started tracking all personnel cost, equipment cost. Uh, we did enter into contracts with uh, private contractors to stage their equipment to, uh, if we needed to remove debris from the river or take care of any levee breaks or those kinds of things. And it allow us then to recover those costs. Okay. Well, Larry, I want to thank you for the information you shared here. On the Quick Time Update, I'm Lloyd Higuera for County Manager Larry Werner, and we'll see you next time on the Quick Time Update.